Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts, feelings towards you at this time? And what are their intentions towards you in the future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so it won't resonate for every Leo watching. And not every Leo reading on my channel will resonate for you. Um, check out the Leo playlist in the description box if this doesn't resonate much for you. And let's jump right in for Leo Spirit. What message do you have for Leo regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know about what this person is thinking? Okay. For the three of pentacles and the ace of wands what do we need to know about what this person is thinking feeling about Olia? okay three of pentacles ace of wands two of swords ten of swords at the bottom of the deck so i think that there has already been some sort of ending or separation here it could be that this person is going through something difficult in their life outside of you as well but i'm not seeing that very strongly i feel like since the ten of swords is here and the ace of wands is here this could be somebody that wants to have um, a do-over or start something new begin something new after an ending here three of pentacles and the two of swords we're gonna have to see what that's about um because i don't I, obviously the two of swords is about someone undecided stuck a bit guarded they just don't know what decision to make um and the three of pentacles is about working together so there's many ways this could be interpreted so let's get some energies down here what do we need to know about this particular person I think this person wants to work things out with you here, but is just undecided about maybe how to go about it. What do we need to know about this particular person that Leo is dealing with or will be dealing with? Hidden feelings. So this is someone that hasn't revealed their feelings to you here. And we have broken silence. So this could be somebody opening up communication or opening up to you in some way about how they feel bottom of the deck new beginnings again okay so yeah this person's definitely thinking about how to start things with you how to start over how to have a do-over we'll see what else do we need to know about what this person's thinking and feeling what are their energies at this time spirit Energies at this time comes to Leo. Judications. This is about waiting for an answer of some sort, waiting to make a decision, waiting for a result. Can you get one more, please. Actually, I don't feel like picking another one. Yeah, I think we're good there. And then later we'll look at the other oracles about what they're thinking or feeling. Let's get to clarifying these. I'm curious. What's this Three of Pentacles about? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Oh God, that is way too many. Way too many. Spirit, why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Four of Swords. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Six of Wands. Can I get one more, please? The Moon. Pisces energy there. Um, I think with the Four of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles, um, this is somebody that perhaps wants to heal things, work on things. I think also with the Four of Swords and the Moon, I'm getting that this person probably hasn't communicated this to you, hasn't taken much action. Um, but this uh, ace of swords at the bottom of the deck is telling me that maybe they want to change that because they're hoping for success here with the six of wands 
this person hasn't told you this before. Like, I have a feeling that whatever they're going to tell you, Leo, they haven't told you that before. What about this Ace of Wands? What do we need to know about this Ace of Wands for Leo? Yeah, Page of Swords. So they want to talk to you about this new beginning. I think right now all they can do is talk. Um, I don't think they can like promise you anything or deliver anything. I don't know. There's the High Priestess. So very similar to the moon and again this is this is them like breaking the silence opening up there you are leo with the strength card and we have the queen of wands here aries leo sagittarius i think that someone's just very attracted to you drawn to you i also feel like this person could be watching you um maybe they need courage also to approach you like the strength card with the queen of wands these two energies together is like someone's willing to be bold, fearless, go after what they want. There's the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So the third Ace that has shown up so far. And Aces are all about uh, beginnings. So this person definitely, their energy feels very focused. Um, like they already know what they want. They already know what they would like to achieve. It's just how to make it happen. So why the Two of Swords? What is the Two of Swords doing here with Spirit? What do we need to know about the Two of Swords for Leo? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the Two of Swords? Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. And the World. So, yeah, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think this person is just not sure how to have this world, how to have this Ace of Wands. Um, whoever this is, the Ten of Pentacles is telling me that they're very like serious about achieving this. This is not somebody that wants to just have fun or have something casual. I think that they already know exactly what they want with you and it's like a long-term connection here. But I think where they're getting stuck is the beginning. I don't know why they're holding back so much. It could be so, there could be so many reasons why. So let's see what we get with these um, oracles. Spirit, tell me more about this person's energies towards Leo. What are their energies towards Leo? What are their energies towards Leo? I see you in my dreams bottom of the deck I miss you so yeah I'm trying to think that this is someone that you already probably had some sort of ending with it hasn't really shown up again in the cards just at the bottom of the deck with the ten of swords and when I initially took the cards out um, and there's obviously an energy here about working together but the moon tells me and the high priestess tells me that you know this person just doesn't hasn't expressed themselves so this is something that's hidden from you and things can't happen if that's still the case in the future i think this person knows that because broken silence is here so it's like i have to speak up what else do we need to know about this person's energies towards leo i am not available it was my fault but i blamed you hmm now this I am not available could be a few things. I like to interpret this as someone who is not able to commit for whatever reason. They're not physically present or they are in a commitment. Um, and then it's it was my fault, but I blamed you. Again, I got that energy earlier that this person can only talk to you. They can't give you anything right now bottom of the deck is I want to tell you how I feel yes we we've picked that up <laughs> so let's see what we can get with this I am not available card spirit tell me about this I am not available energy what is this I am not available energy what do we need to know 
What do I need to know for this? I am not available. Energy. Five of Cups. Justice, Libra Energy. I see them like feeling sorry for themselves here with the Five of Cups. Ten of Wands. Okay, so they're burdened possibly by another attachment, addictions, um, situations where they might be stuck somewhere or with someone because the devil here is at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy. Maybe this person's weighed down by responsibilities due to mistakes they've made in the past. Maybe they're dealing with consequences from mistakes in the past. Because sometimes when I have like the Ten of Wands with the devil, I think of someone who is overwhelmed and burdened by where they are at. And they only put themselves in that position through their own actions, mistakes, etc. So that's why this person cannot give to you right now. I feel like they're working on this with justice. Maybe this is a legal situation as well that they're kind of stuck in. Um, that would go with this adjudication card that we saw here. It's like someone's waiting for an outcome. So what are their intentions towards you? What are this person's intentions, spirit, towards Leo? What are this person's intentions towards the Leo spirit for the near future? What are this person's intentions for the near future? Let's break up the deck. Nine of Cups, Judgment, and the Star, Aquarius Energy. So I feel like their intention is to get this wish granted. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Judgment is all about second ch chances, awakenings, realizations um, over the past. So tell me about Judgment. Spirit, why is Judgment here? Seven of Cups again. Why is Judgment here? King of Swords. Eight of Swords. Can I get one more for Judgment? Why is Judgment here? The Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. Okay, Three of Pentacles again. So this is about working things out with you. I think it's going to be some sort of communication with the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. I think the Seven of Cups is like, what is the best thing to tell Leo or how to tell Leo something, how to express themselves um, because there's fear here. I think this person has fears of failure. Um, the Hierophant, it's interesting. I wonder if this I am not available card, now that I'm looking at the Hierophant here, Leo, you might not be available. Let me know if that resonates in the comments. Um, one of you is not available right now for this connection. Um, I think that the Hierophant represents some sort of commitment that someone has signed up for already or is still dealing with um, and it's like they want to talk about this the Hierophant is also someone that's very like I'm going to do things right I'm going to follow all of the rules I'm going to be very traditional in my approach tell me about the Hierophant why is the Hierophant here four of swords so i think that this is somebody that can't take action can't communicate due to whatever this is and there's the moon at the bottom of the deck so i feel like someone has been quiet or unsure doubtful about something that has to do with this higher font it's almost like they're not really sure for example if you are uh in a connection already in a commitment of some sort they are not taking action because they're not sure of the outcome Fear is holding them back. What's behind this? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the star. There's hope here. There's faith. Healing with the star. Why is the star here? Ten of Wands shows up again. 
I think this person is hoping that they can work out through whatever is an obstacle that keeps them from you. Because there is something that's keeping them from you. Yeah, they might even talk to you about this obstacle. Maybe they have regrets, five of cups, or I miss you. I know that um, I'm in a situation now that's all my fault, but you know, I'm working on it or whatever. Tell me about the nine of cups. The nine of cups, I think, comes back to those aces that we've seen, the world energy. Why is the nine of cups here, spirit? Two of swords. Why is the nine of cups? Death, Scorpio energy. I think this person is like blocked until they deal with whatever it is um, that is a block for them at this time. Can I get one more for this nine of cups? Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy, there's the sun at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like they, they can only have their nine of cups once there's some sort of ending here that takes place with the death card. Can I get one more for death? Spirit, why is death here? Why is death here? Five of swords. Yeah, there's the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So there's some sort of conflict situation that needs to be over here. Um, I think this is um, similar to the devil energy. Um, I feel like your person is embroiled in something, dealing with some sort of challenge. Um, maybe they, they're taking too long there. Maybe they've been waiting for something to pan out here and it hasn't happened. So there's many ways I can interpret this. For example, it could be that they're with someone or in a situation where they're dragging their feet and your person cannot be free of them or free of that situation. It could be that your person is dealing with someone that um, is deceptive or difficult to deal with. And so they're unable to really completely end something. It's, there's many ways to interpret this, but that's a major block here. And one of the reasons why your person, as much as they're missing you, thinking about you, um, and you know, as much as they have these feelings for you, doesn't necessarily mean they can offer you something. But I do feel like your person wants to break the silence and at least let you know what's going on and be very honest with you. Queen of Swords, King of Swords has shown up, the Page of Swords. Those are like the truth tellers. Those people tell it to you straight up, especially the Queen of Swords. And I feel like that's what this person wants to do. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.